Managed to get one at uh, Woody Anto's right hip, which is the most difficult place to defend from. Yeah, fine, that's an interesting shot. Of one of the commentary boxes. A little high, as you can see. It's Arrowhead Pond in Anaheim, just south of Los Angeles. Normally home of the uh, Mighty Ducks hockey team. more like the uh, form that Sarah Lee displayed yesterday around the net and the tie partnership recover the serve the deficit is three points yeah again great anticipation from Sarah Lee it's what she was doing so well yesterday onto the net very quickly positive play from her she's 26 years of age from Bangkok They won the Japan Open back in April, did the ties. Six, was up in the Singapore Open just a couple of months ago. Sued get another short service error. Yesterday when he was playing, we noticed quite a few. He changed his tactics, used a flick service. Oh. Wonderful athleticism. Lead is down to just one. Oh, yeah. Indonesians won the Singapore Open last November. Runners up in uh, the Swiss Open back in March. Oh. We're tied then at eight points all midway through the opening game. First to 15, of course, for those of you not familiar with the badminton scoring system you can only score when serving and it's the best of three games and he's really coming alive now subcat papakapol yeah, brilliant play. Seems to up the tempo, moving very quickly round the court. And what a smash up in the air. Thunders it down the forehand side. No chance for Woody Anto. They're seeded seven, the ties. Their opponents are the four seeds. a huge gamble there looking to intercept the shuttle and it didn't pay off but a good service hand four points they won the ties well left get to that net early just rushing his shot a little bit knows he's got to set up the lift the best when they're on the attack his opposite number struggling a little bit with his short serving oh. yeah that time Suke he, he tried the short serve again but loose would he onto onto it very quickly the point 
points scored. And the surf changes hands once more. The um, first uh, final will play, take place later tonight, the women's doubles. Well, I didn't know uh, Nick Faldo was a Babington player. Absolutely not. Perhaps I'll give him a lesson and he can give me a lesson at golf. That would be nice. Look, can I come along and carry your bags? Absolutely. Yeah, OK, well, we'll fix that up. The uh, women's doubles final. We'll have coverage of that uh, for you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. UK time, 9 Central European time. It's an all-Chinese affair between uh, Wei Zhang and Zhang Zhiwen and uh, Gao Ling and Huang Sui. Defensive play from Sarah Lee. Just stepped up, took the pace off the shuttle, pushed it into the gap. Oh. Oh. Yep. And both women are contributing hugely in the net exchanges. Yeah, they both know it's so important to get to the net, set their partners up at the back. Some excellent exchanges going on. And a lovely interception by Liliana Natsia there. Yeah, she's just starting to come in to the game at the right moment, playing the right shots, looking, she knows Soupquet's coming forward. Landed just nicely in the corner and the Indonesians putting together a good service hand here. Four points one, and they need just two more for the opening game. Oh. And now it's game point. Excellent service hand for Budianto and that's it. From 9 all to 15-9. And the Indian Indonesians claim the opening game. Yeah, great tactics from 9 all. What they was trying to do is pull Suke into the net, keep Sarah Lee at the back, and in the end it just worked perfectly. And that's here though, stepped up up at the net, and I think that was the crucial change in the last few points. So the first game in this mixed double semi-final is decided and Widianto and Natsia have that by 15 points to 9. Let's just confirm for you that after this match is completed we will have men's singles action. The world number one, Rindan, against the world number three, Peter Gaida. Uh, Lin uh, from China, of course, Peter from uh, Denmark. And uh, it'll be fascinating, that one, because Lin Dan so underperformed at the Olympic Games last year. Had a tough draw, it should be said, but lost in the first round to Ronald Susilo from Singapore, which was a huge surprise. Absolutely. That, that's probably his biggest disappointment ever. But he's come back playing so well. But Peter, watching Peter Gay play yesterday, um, again, he looks at the best of his form and um, can't wait for that encounter. Again, the uh, first semi-final has been decided in the men's singles, but we will keep the result of that up our sleeve.
Yeah, clever smash from Suket. Changing the angle. Cross court into the right hip of Liliana. Came from a game down yesterday with the ties. Oh dear. Very nearly fouled the net. Put on the brakes in time. A great start from the tie pass, just what they needed. Losing the first game must come out strong. It's exactly what they've done. Disappointed with himself. Great setup. Really should have had that point. They do get the next. And Sudket and Sarah Lee lead four love, second game. A bit lucky to get away with another loose serve. on the back line let the shuttle drop a little bit too late and hit it into the tape oh. Oh. Oh, they've lost the serve but it's a fine start for the ties in this second game Six points scored in their first uh, service hand. Now the uh, next task is, of course, to defend the lead and recover the serve as soon as possible. Eliana Nats here to serve. Quick unforced errors, handed them two points, make the Indonesians work for the rallies, make them win the points. And suddenly we've gone into a passage of play where points are coming at a rapid rate of knots. Remember, the Indonesians won six straight points from nine all in the first game to claim it. And six straight points for the ties and now... Uh, Three already for the Indonesians, and it's still first over. Not anymore, though. Second server now. Yeah, good crouch defence from Sarah Lee. Taking the chance, it's all she could do. And in the end, a rushed attack from Widianto. permission to do so. Six, three. Tie partnership have the lead, 6-3 in the second game, trailing by one game to love, but they have the serve. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
Kat, very insistent on his partner not striking that one, and absolutely right. Nice service return from Liliana. Set up the opening. Short lift straight onto the forehand of Widianto. Now, can he get his serving going rather better? Just too long. Of course, it's in doubles. It's the front of the two baselines that counts for the serve. Singles, it's the back. And in doubles, you can serve a little wider than in singles. They're yeah, short and fat, as they say. <laughs> well, I'd never describe you as that, no. <laughs> from Suket, getting a softer drop, making Willy Arn to do something with a shuttle, forcing him to hit it harder. Oh. There seems to be a lack of intensity amongst the Indonesians at the moment, rather casual on some of their shots. Sukkot and Sara Lee are never casual. Yeah, the Indonesian parents just seem to have lost their way a little bit, playing very defensive. Great attacking play from the Thai pair, though. Yeah, they've really gone totally off the ball, haven't they? better. Oh no. The error made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great pressure. They're so keen, both Sukat and Sarah Lee, to get onto that net. At the moment, working wonders for them. Game point for one game all. Well, that's a devastating game, really. What a recovery from losing the first. Suket Prapakamol and Sarah Lee Tung Tung Kam win the second game. 15 points to three. And uh, the five minute interval will be claimed. And one game all. Hard to believe that turned around so quickly. Unbelievable. When you, you, you go back to the first game, 9 all, Woody Anto, and that's here come out six very good points, and all of a sudden they've just lost their way in this match. And uh, I mean, hats off to the type here. They've kept to their game plan. They're both looking for that net earlier, though, and I think that is the big difference. Sara Lee definitely coming to net, dominating more. Whilst we have a little time, uh, no live badminton tomorrow night with uh, the remaining finals getting underway in the wee small hours of the morning uh, in uh, Europe and in the UK but we will have coverage of the finals on Monday morning starting at 9 o'clock UK time that's 10 Central European time and I uh, do hope you've enjoyed our coverage so far of the World Badminton Championships Certainly, uh, since I've been involved in Eurosport since the early 1990s, it's the first time we've covered them, and I sincerely hope it won't be the last.
a reminder once again as we look at um, previous winners of this event Kim Dong Moon and Ra Kyung Min winning it twice in 99 and 2003 and Sheng Jun and Gao Ling who were so surprisingly beaten last night by the Thais the winners in Spain in 2001 well, it's a massive auditorium, this, the uh, Arrowhead Pond. Capacity of well over 20,000. And uh, it had some pretty good crowds in there. Uh, it's been very good. The atmosphere tonight, you can hear them, people getting involved. Mexican waves all going on. It's, uh, it, it's very good that they're getting involved with the atmosphere. Great to see. And, of course, we're now down to a one-court uh, scenario. So uh, everyone's attention focused on the main show court. So while the uh, players are taking their five minute break, we're going to take a little uh, break ourselves, a commercial break, and we'll be back for the third and deciding game of the mixed doubles. Yeah, you definitely feel that the Indonesian pair need a little bit more urgency in their game. They look a little bit lapsed in that second. They've got to up it, go through some more gears. Well, it was a stunning get by Subkat, but. All credit to Liliana at the net, kept her concentration, didn't assume it wasn't coming back. And just that gentle push into the empty space. Gives the Indonesians the first point of the deciding game. Just missing a couple. Right idea. She's still trying to get to the net, but got to cut out these unforced errors, especially at the start of the third. Oh. It's uh, strange how the momentum has shifted just as quickly as it did at the start of the second game when the ties raced away to a six love lead now it's the Indonesians who lead four love oh. one suspects a little bit of panic setting in here yeah it's a little bit tense times for the tie pair at the moment they look so good in the second game just making so many unforced errors this is quite extraordinary Change ends halfway through the deciding game with an eight love lead and there's first service hand and it's on the second server and every one point because the the very first uh, rally in which the Indonesians had the serve they didn't uh, take advantage of it no they've let this lead slip very quickly I mean, it's four just easy unforced errors they've given them and uh, they just cannot afford to do that. And you thought all the momentum was with the, 
to Kett and Sara Lee after they'd raced away with the second game. And yet they find themselves love eight down in the decider. There's uh, signs of the excellent crowd, of course, uh, this part of Southern California has a huge uh, population of Asian descent. Again, Suket off balance. Trying to hit the smash, you know, just placing to get the rallies going. That's long. And still on this first service hand of the deciding game, the first service hand for the Indonesians. Ten straight points, all of them on second server. off to the Indonesian pair they, they look like they'd lost their way in the second but they've come out so strong but you can't help but feel that the Thailand pair have just just gone soft well, they don't know where they've gone but they've certainly gone they've gone absent without leave I think get the serve but what imagine they have to claim at the love uh, climb at the love 12 oh. huge relief for the type pair. get off the mark they've got to somehow get on a roll If they win from Love 12 down, I think I'll eat an extra helping of uh, spring rolls. forehand her favorite shots at the net just took her eye off the shoulders watching where her opponents are change of subtle was the requested by the Indonesians well, well they've started to climb Everest but uh, I suspect it's too little too late 12-3 as the Indonesians regain the serve. <laughs> Great defense by Liliana. A subtle little change from Sarah Lee. Yeah, you can see Liliana getting further and further back. serve back without conceding any further points one of those infuriating ones that could so easily have dribbled over now 
Oh, yes. Yeah, great shot from Sarah Lee. Lovely deceptive flick from her backhand. Right into the forehand deep. One point, uh, they managed to score the ties on the, that service hand. And back the serve will go to the Indonesians, needing three points to progress to the final. No one enjoying the party. Pressure took his time, varying his attack in the end, got the short lift he wanted. 172 miles an hour, the master shot of that rally. Shows you just how hard these guys do hit. They've started to come alive, the Thailand pair. Just the last few points. I think they thought they was out of it. Slowly getting themselves back in. Well, it is the second time in a row they've recovered the serve without conceding any further points. Mind you, they can ill afford to concede any points. Yes. Yeah, well constructed rally. Again, the type of movement so well covering each other. Delicate little drop from Suket. Medianto seeking permission to towel down and being waved away. Five twelve it was the love twelve. Great smash. Pinning Liliana to the back of the court now, not letting her get to the net. Keeping the Indonesian pair up side to side. Lead has been halved. From Twelve points to six. Six. That little bit of indecision. Yeah, good placement from Widianto between the tyre pair. Great length.
<laughs> oh, there's self-belief now back with Subkat and Sarah Lee. And there's nothing worse than seeing a large lead whittled away steadily. Reminded that it was 12 love, the match looked dead and buried. Time for the Indonesian pair. Ah! Uh, the flick serve not working. What a fight back this has been from Love 12 to 8 12. Uh, the last two occasions the Indonesians have had the serve, they failed to. Increase their score, and they will be desperate to do so now. Yeah, Willie Anto using his experience now. Go and towel down. Have a little break. Clear the mind. Concentrate point at a time. Sarah Lee had her hand up, indicating not ready. Oh, just too much of an angle. Oh, that was a shame. Under big pressure, they got themselves out of trouble. What a time to try a cross-court net shot. of shot for Woody Anto. Still have the serve the Indonesians. Now second server and we know that Woody Anto has not been serving well. One point this time, and once more the serve is lost. And can the ties continue this remarkable fight back in the final game? From love 12 to 8 13. Oh, incredible comeback from the ties. They looked so out of the game, looked like they'd handed it to the Indonesians. All of a sudden, they've come alive. A cute little angle just between the Thailand pair down the sides. <laughs> they dropped in. This time the Thais can't score with the serve. Right on the line. <laughs> Some very elementary errors being made out there, which is a sure sign that everyone is absolutely on edge. Yeah, Suket leaving it hit at the last moment on the back line. 
straight onto the racket, Liliana. stuff. It was Suket who changed the pattern of the rally and was rewarded. Yeah, great smash. It was like a routine that Woody Anton Suket are playing. Drop lift, drop lift, but in the end he sees Sarali just, or should I say Nasir, walking into the net, changed his angle of smash. as the ties start serving. Yeah, frustration from the Indonesian pair. story so tight in the final game yep terrific dexterity this time by Woody Anto yeah great interception stood his ground didn't move back now can they get the two points stuff every rally now absolutely shots that normally would be no problem you can see the arms tensing that was uh, good from Sarah Lee smiling broadly at her partner trying to get him to relax That is an amazing shot because it was a very good flat hit from Suket. Yeah, Woody Anta doing so well to change the angle from his backhand. Sarah Lee coming into the net on the straight line. He managed to get his bracket onto it, pull it cross court. And set up the first match point for the Indonesians. So well to get back into this final game of Sudket and Sarah Lee, but now they're facing match point. It is second server. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't have seemed right if this match had ended on the first match point. No, absolutely. Suket so positive. You've got to be that this stage in the game jumped onto the short serve
when they were 12 love down in this deciding game. I didn't think the ties would reach 10 points. I frankly thought they might struggle to reach five. <laughs> now it's 14-10. That's better. Yes, the match isn't over yet. The Indonesians have two more match points. That's it. Terrific match, which ebbed and flowed. The tie so nearly got back into it in the final game. But to concede the first 12 points really was too much of a handicap. And it is the four seeds, Nova Widianto and Liliana Natsia, who advance to the mixed doubles final. 15-9, 3-15, and 15-10. Oh, strange mixed doubles. I've really thought the momentum after the second game had gone to the Thailand pair. They played superb in it, but they come out and, and they just handed the first 12 points to the Indonesian pair. It just makes you wonder if they'd have started a bit stronger, a bit more positive, what would have happened. But in the end, the Indonesians came out the winners, 15-10. Then, as we've mentioned, the first uh, mixed double semi-final has already taken place but in case there's time for us to show you some of the match a little later we won't tell you what the score was just yet there's confirmation of that score line a reminder that uh, our next match should be an absolutely outstanding men's single semi-final Lindan from China against Peter Gader of Denmark the world number one against the world number three as we look back on the highlights of an absorbing mixed doubles semi-final nice smiles between all four players at the end that's good to see yeah, you can see the relief on Woody Anto's face 12 love up you had a great win yesterday, defeating the Olympic champs. You were coming in this, you started off a bit slow. Tacked it really well in the second game. Third game, they got away with you. What happened in the third? You almost came back. ทีมงานที่ชนะคู่ต่อสู้ที่เป็นแชมเปี้ยนของโอลิมปิกได้วันนี้ตอนเกมแรกก็ช้าหน่อยแต่ว่าเกมสองก็ตีตื้นขึ